and this demonstration will highlight the XQuery debugger support in Oxygen XML editor. In our demo project, we have one XQuery and two XML data files. The XML files contained some auctioned items and a bid log. Our demo XQuery looks for the item or items that recorded the highest number of bids and prints them in an HTML file. To see how the result looks like, we need to apply an XQuery transformation scenario. We'll create a new transformation scenario using out-of-the-box settings. The resulting HTML is displayed in the results panel. Let's see how the result is being generated using the debugger's features. Press the debug scenario button to switch to XQuery debugger perspective. To see how bid summary function works, we we'll stop the execution of the XQuery and the value of the variable i equals 1002, which is the ID number of our auctioned motorcycle. We'll set a conditional breakpoint and hit the run button. The execution stopped inside bid summary function at item 1002. Now we'll instruct the debugger to run the execution step by step. The variables tab displays all variables available in the current context. We'll click the variable B to see its content, composed of five bid tuple objects. Node set values are linked with their source location, so when we click a node value set, the bid.xml file is opened automatically and its corresponding XML fragment is highlighted. Contextual conditions can be evaluated using the XWatch view. Now let's see how many bids are recorded for our motorcycle. Also, we can find when the bids were recorded. Now we'll stop the execution of the XQuery at line 34, where the output is being generated. The execution trace is recorded in the Trace tab. Now let's see what items receive the highest number of bids. The first one is the red bicycle. We'll press the run button and the execution stops at line 34 where we have set a breakpoint. Another item that received the same number of bids is the motorcycle. Click the run button again. Now the execution is finished. We'll check the output and we can see what line of XQuery generated a particular line of output. The same backmapping functionality is offered in the XHTML output view. XQuery engines that support debugging are available in this drop-down menu. To analyze the performance of our XQuery code, we'll use the XQuery profiling support. We'll turn on the profiling and run the XQuery once more. The hotspots view records the most time-consuming instructions. The invocation tree shows the execution times into greater detail. Thank you for watching this demonstration.